So Pepe coin, the price plunging, moving down. We're going to find out, talk about what's behind the drop in this video. If that's what you're looking for, uh, you've got some good stuff for you. So with that said, my name is Austin. If you're new to me, definitely hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this on Twitter, hit that follow button and please drop a like, please. I greatly appreciate you. So let's get into this. What is going on with Pepe right here, right now? I've been told I say that a lot. So there you go. Uh, Moving down about 29% on the uh, right now on the on the movement. I've got this set to 12 hours. You can see right here just to give you some good ideas. Now, look, we had these massive candle moves up. So a couple things are going on. Number one, you're going to have some type of a pullback. Pepe wasn't just going to continue to go up and up and up and never have any type of a pullback. So that's what you're seeing. Number one, you're seeing a pullback because of this massive run up. Now, secondly, beyond that, you're also seeing... Uh, a scenario play out where the entire crypto kind of the macro level, the entire crypto market is moving down. And let me show you that as well. Also come back and talk to you about where you can buy Pepe if you're trying to figure out how, you know, how you can, uh, you know, pick up Pepe as well. So let me show you what's going on in the overall crypto market. So crypto itself is down about three plus percent. We got a little bit of fear, uncertainty and doubt out there in the the macro market. We've got a scenario where Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange, halted uh, trading of Bitcoin three times in the last 24 hours. They're citing congestion issues. There's people that are pointing fingers at them saying that that's not in fact true. There's other issues there. Uh, so you got fear, uncertainty, and doubt like around Binance, the world's leading largest you know, crypto centralized exchange. Is there something bad going on? I don't really personally think there is. But you've also had a scenario play out where there was a hundred and 75,000 uh, or more big count Bitcoin that would appear to be moved off of the exchange. Again, Binance is saying that they were just, that that's moving from different, you know, cold wallets, moving from different wallets, things of that nature. Again, a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt that's out there. It has nothing directly to do with Pepe per se, So you, but you've got that kind of in the macro level, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that's out there. Okay, so with that said, kind of turning our attention back to Pepe, uh, let's look at, I want to show you, uh, I always like to, because I get these questions all the time. Hey, Austin, where do you buy Pepe? Where can I get it? So if you're looking at Pepe and you need, and you're looking at trying to buy it on a, let me give you a different view of this. If you want to see Pepe, um, if you want to buy it on a centralized exchange, obviously you can get it on Binance, KuCoin, OKX, Gate.io. If you go to CoinMarketCap and you just look up Pepe, P-E-P-E -P -E, right there, you can then go to Markets. And you can see it uh, right here. Now you have, you have centralized or decentralized. So on the centralized side, here's your here's your largest exchanges. There's where you can get it on the centralized side. Obviously on the DEX side, uh, Uniswap is the main one that you want to, to get it there. Okay, so scenario again playing out where you got Pepe moving down. So I think there's really two factors that play here. Number one, a sell-off because of the massive runoff. Um, and secondly, you know, kind of that macro level. I don't particularly think, you know, that this is a, everybody's running for, running away from Pepe. This is just more of a, of a market correction move down macro that's impacting Pepe because it is obviously, you know, one of the top cryptos out there now, one of the top community meme coins uh, breaking into the top 100. It has a global market brand around it now. Uh, you know, and it's one that everybody does know about. And these community meme tokens tend to react more aggressively, kind of from an emotional standoff, uh, you know, basis where people tend, tend to sell them faster than, say, you know, Cardano or Bitcoin or Ethereum. We have that. I've seen that happen in Shiba Inu now for, for years. I've been covering SHIB every single day on my channel for two plus years. Uh, community meme tokens definitely react harder, more aggressively when you have kind of a sell-off scenario playing out. So just again, FYI there. That's all I got for you right now. As always, thanks for your support. And if you haven't already done so, hit those buttons below uh, or follow me on Twitter if that's where you're at. You're seeing this. See ya. Bye.